Though we're in a pandemic, baby showers are still happening, either virtually or with strict social distance measures. Etiquette expert Diane Gotsman joins us with a few questions and answers for baby. Good morning, Diane. How are you? I'm good, Amanda. Good morning. Uh, we are focusing today, perhaps not so much on a new mom or a first time mom, I should say, but a mother's uh, parents who have already had a couple of kids or at least one. Uh, their right. first. Right. And you go ahead. Well, and you know, the common question when you have your second and third and fourth baby is, can I have a baby shower? Rude to to invite people to a baby shower for, for the third baby or so. And, you know, the answer to that is I think that you need to know your audience. You need to know the situation. You know, traditionally, showers were for new parents to help them set up for their new arrival. Uh, once you've, you're on your third baby, you probably have a lot of, of clothes and items. So I think that you know who you're inviting and talk to your friends and family beforehand and say, is this something we should do? Or they're going to ask you something that you would like to do. So communication is key. Yeah, maybe have a different type of baby shower, just a party in, instead of one where you ask for a lot of gifts. Uh, second question we have here is, are gifts expected for the second, third or fourth shower? So just like a birthday party or a, any type of celebration, if it's a celebration that would generally ask for a gift, you know, expected is a, is a strong word because gift never an expectation, but it, you know, it's a subliminal, probably so. If you're invited to the shower, if there's a gift registry, if you attend or in person, and right now we're still in the pandemic, very, very careful with this. We're not encouraging showers. We're just saying, if you do, um, a gift is, is a idea to do it. Uh, and, and third question here is, can you skip the shower to send and then just send a baby gift when the baby's born? Absolutely. So what you can't do is you can't skip the RSVP. You need to let your host know whether you're attending or not. But if you don't go, uh, you decline. And then when the baby arrives, if you want to give the baby a gift, by all means. Who should host and not host a baby shower? So again, traditionally, immediate family does not host. So the mom, you know, the mom, the mom of the mom, so the grandparents, the close family, the siblings should not host a shower. However, there is exceptions because it might be a family gathering and we're calling it a shower, but what if it's just a celebration to, to honor, you know, the mom and, and mom and dad. So I think that traditionally not immediate family, but there are always exceptions to that. Uh, question number five here is, can dads and children be invited to a second baby shower? And then should they bring a gift for the children or the expectant mom? So, yes, dads and children can be invited if that's the kind of shower that it is. And it would be great fun. Um, if it is a shower, again, you would want to bring a gift if you were if you were. A, but you don't have to bring a gift to the children that are in attendance. And that was a question that came up because I, uh, it was, okay, I'm invited to the shower, but there will be children there. Should I bring a gift for the children as well? Um, and that was just somebody that was wanted to make sure they were doing the right thing. So yes to the upcoming baby, but not necessary for the children that are in attendance. Uh, and then finally, this is a good one. Uh, I know you're excited about it. Can the mom ask for specific items since the family may have plenty of certain items and not enough of others? For example, uh, you say here that a mom would like a swing set. So you say, you know, I'm excited because you know how I feel about that. So I think with a register, you can ask for specific items. Swing set is a little much. Now, if it's if it's a, some kind of extenuating circumstances, if, if it's the grandparents who want to give this baby a swing set that they can't yet swing on, but they want to do it for the entire family, that's one thing. But that is not a, a shower gift. That's not traditionally a shower gift. <sighs> Okay. All right. It's, it's a lot to ask of a friend to give them a swing set. Well, it's, it's, it's uh, I, I hear you. All righty then. <laughs> uh, protocolschooloftexas.com. Diane Gotsman, we always appreciate you being here with us. Thank you so much. See you soon. All right. Take care.